Uh, Tony, you, you mentioned a few weeks ago you were going to have sticky spells where you're going to have a run of, of defeat. You're now in that. Um, you start coming. What are you doing to try to try and rectify that? Um, I don't think we have to do anything specific. I think the team of performance level has been pretty high. Um, it'll turn round. We just keep doing the right things. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't sit here and think. Well, we have to do this or we have to do that. I think um, chances come, chances go. They either end up in the net, they don't. It affects the game. You know, we've lost. We've lost last two games really from defending set players, which has been pretty positive for us over a long time. Now I think uh, being pretty good at that statistic. When I look at the league data, we've been pretty high on defending set players, but. Um, yeah, it's cost us. I think ultimately that the the inability to score more goals has been an issue for us over the last week or two. Um, from the chances that we've created, so, so I think without knowing the exact numbers, but you know we had, we had 17 shots at Stoke and 13 shots was it the other night? It's um, you've got to score goals and the opportunities come along. You know, big chances or half chances. Um, but generally, I think the overall identity of the team is still strong, and I think we believe that over the longer piece, uh, we can play as well as we we know we can. We will win plenty of games, and I'm pretty sure we are more than capable of winning three or four on the bounce as we go forward, and um, and it'll all balance out. I think the good teams, the better teams, finish at the top end, and the less structured teams are. Um, finish at the other end, so and I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll finish at the top end. It just again, there's a lot of good teams in this league, and there are a lot of good teams who are going to be uh, very competitive. So let's see where we ultimately end up. But um, like last season was up and down, this season's ups and downs. We've just the date is there, and we have to accept it. We've lost three games on the bounce. It's um, and yet. It's pretty tough to take, and with the way them games have panned out, at, um, but we have to accept it and keep working hard, and it'll turn for us, I'm sure. There won't be many teams that go to Leicester and give as good an account for themselves as, as you did the other night, which I guess you can take some. You know, the result doesn't help, but you can still take some heart from that in terms of performance. Well, see, well, what I've just said, I think the performance level of the team is uh, is what's important, and if the performance level stays high, the results will follow doesn't always mean that if you play well you're going to win um, but generally if you have a consistency about what you do and how you train and how you play and the demands you put on the team um, the results will follow generally and so we, we have a lot of faith in that and we're not doing anything different from what we did last year and we lost games last year we went through some spells of, of difficulty and you come out the other end and that's what we have to do and uh, so just keep going, keep believing, um, keep working hard with the team. It's it's a balance at times, you know, with the rotation of it, with players coming back from injury and the international breaks that we've had. And um, you know, we have to be careful we don't go to the well too much with all the same players. But um, a few starting to get almost ready again, and over the weeks coming, we will. Um, I'm sure we'll see a few changes as we move forward. Prince, I was going to ask about the injury front, and obviously there have been mountain but things looking a little bit better. Maybe getting a bit of the, the rub of the green with those now. Well, listen, they, they need they need game time. So a Sirkin played in the game the day before for 45 minutes, and then played 30 minutes against Leicester City. It's um, and four or five other players did exactly the same. Played 45 minutes in a in a bounce game against Hibs, and then came and um, got some game time against Leicester the very next day so it's a balancing act when people have been out for a long time and um, trying to get them up to speed to play in the championship which is what we're trying to do um, so yeah it's not as easy as always oh, fit now let's stick him straight back in 90 minutes because you know you, you, you're actually putting them in jeopardy by doing that at, um, especially if you're asking them to play at a tempo that they can't get in a 21s game or on the training pitch, so. Um, but generally, yeah, injuries. I'm, I'm not. I, I hope I don't sit here every week and moan about the injuries. Um, 
but we've got some pretty good players who are on their way back and, and will help as as Dennis played you know 30 minutes through the night he, he helped the balance of the team with a, a natural left foot playing on the left side of the pitch Good. Thank you. <coughs> Norwich City Tony, um, good to kind of like yourselves, probably not, not in the best moments of their season at the moment coming into this one. Um, yeah, I, I, to be honest, I haven't studied them, to be honest. I think I, I started watching them this morning. Um, they've got some good players. Their, their results, is, I think they've had one win in five, I think. It's, um, yeah. They, I, I, I don't know until I watch deeper really, I, I'm pretty sure they'll have an identity, uh, obviously they've got a different coach now, um, but the club, I know Norwich, they, they'll have a philosophy of how they want to play and what they want to do, but um, for me, I, I'm more interested in us, I think Norwich is one of the teams that will expect and, and I'm pretty sure will be up and around in the upper echelons of this league. When it comes to the crunch, you know, after the end of the new year, and you get to February and March when you have to win matches, and you can propel yourself pretty quickly up the table. So, um, yeah, this is just the next game for us. We're more focused on us than on them, and um, of course, we have to know what their strengths and weaknesses are. But um, we're more focused on trying to reproduce good performances from us, and um, and as we've done all right. For, so far this season, no, I, I know we're in a difficult spell with the results, but I still think the performance level of the team is is okay, and we just have to keep that going. Um, just going to ask about the, the group who you might turn your strikers. Obviously, I mean, it was in the summer and the two lads who came in at the deadline. You could do with all of them, one of them scoring a goal, but they need to be on the pitch to do that. And I suppose sometimes you might think they're not ready to be on the pitch. So, it, it, is it quite a difficult situation to manage at the moment as they're all kind of learning on the job? Well, listen. You have to put it in the country. You have to break them down. You know, you're the journalists. It's you know, I'm the coach. You, you're you're you know, you're almost answering your own question there. It's to the point of: Are they ready? Are they young? Are they working hard? Are we driving them in training? Are they taking the net off the back of the goal every day in training? If they were, I'd be putting them in the team. You know, it's they have to. They, they, they've come from different countries. Um, they, some of them are finding it difficult to acclimatise and the intensity of the work that we do. If, if as I said, if, if they were breaking the net every day in training, they'd be in the team. They, they are young boys learning their trade. Rusin's not a young boy, he's 24, 25, but he's from the Ukraine, struggling with the language a little bit. Um, yeah, trying to integrate him in, and, and, and if I thought they could come in and do the job and help us score goals and win football matches, they would be in the team. Um, final, or just sort of general situation, it, 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 fans, I suppose, just naturally have oscillating emotions that go up and down with every single result, but when you sat in your chair, you can't afford to be like that, can you? <laughs> I don't think I've ever been like that to be honest. I, I look at the team that we're trying to put out on the pitch and I think have we got do we know what we're trying to do? Do we know how we're trying to score a goal? Do we know how we uh, how we play? What's what's the non negotiables for our team and um yeah. I think the team is, is a really good team and I think we um we should be judged at the end of the season on how many points we accrue and um that's how I look at football. I want them to play well, I want them to enjoy it, I want them to be competitive. Um, but so does every other team and whilst they might not be a bigger team with crowds and um, attendances and and, um, and everything that goes with that as, as, a, as a big club, they are better financed clubs than this club in my, you know, better salary. So I, I, you, I, I don't know, you don't know what the salary level of Leicester City is compared to Sunderland. It's, um, they are bigger resourced football clubs and, and, and yet does that mean that we have to be submissive to them? Are we going to let them beat us because they've got more money or pay their players more or have bigger squads or better quality players? Um, the job is just to be ultra competitive and I think we are in every game, win, lose or draw and that's the challenge for us is to try and um, be competitive in this division which is 
God, I don't know how many, but the teams with parachute payments, you know, whether that be 40 million before they kick a ball, it's um, it's not easy for all the rest. But but we've been competitive and um, trying to put a, a, a decent team together for the supporters. I've talked about this that, that I want them to feel as if win, lose, or draw, they see a team that's giving them everything, and um, and that's that's all I ask the team. And yeah, we get disappointed if we don't win football matches, but. The, the journey carries on, the way we prepare the team, the things we ask them to do. Um, yeah, I'm pretty relaxed where we are. It's you know I think we got three points less than what Derby, had, uh, sorry, what uh, Burnley had last year um, at this stage of the season. So we shouldn't be uh, we shouldn't be too unhappy. We are we won are we three points off third in the league. Let's keep going. Uh, I say I, I, I wouldn't question anybody. They can be high or they can be low. They all people know the reasons why teams win and lose. I, I've lived in that environment for twenty odd years now, being a football coach. It's um, at the end of the day, we we just try to prepare the team for the next game, and uh, we do break down most games that we play and have a look what was good, what was bad, but. Um, yeah, I think there's been plenty good this season so far and of course things to work on but that's football and we do that all the time.